And there we go, it's the next day. Circumstances are currently minimally moist. So we need to hit the road before the rain comes in. Pretty nice place that. Pension Zuschener Bauernstuben. Very friendly, old school, but clean. And it costs 45 euros for a night, including breakfast. Cannot complain at that. But anyway, the adventure continues. We're gonna blast through the last few miles of twisties in Sauerland here before tonking very slightly across the edge of the Wieserbergland. Then, sadly, at Hanover, the only real feasible option becomes motorway for the last two hours all the way back to Hamburg. So this is the last stretch, folks. So make sure there's a fresh cuppa in your hand. Point your eyes squarely at the screen. We get on with these last bits of bendies. Oh. Or not. Oh, it's a typical case of hurry up and wait, isn't it? A little bit easy to start with because tyres are probably a little bit cool, although a couple of these bends and I think they would have warmed right up. Certainly don't feel slippy. Are you sure about that Garmin? If you're taking me off the main road to put me back on it again, I will kick your f***ing ass. What are you doing? You just told me to f***ing go this way! What the flying f That's the road I was just f on. Where the f are we going? Oh, well done, Garmin. Well f done. This is another paved road, is it? This makes for really enjoyable bike riding. Nothing I love more than the fear of smashing the bike into the floor or getting a puncture. Yep, yep. Looks as it all. What the f are you doing, mate? <sighs> no, tires have cooled right down. They're covered in stones, they're covered in dust. Rely on technology to improve the enjoyment of your ride. Look, tires are covered in sodding gravel dust now. Calm down, let's enjoy the ride, shall we? Next time, maps. Just getting some maps. Yep, that's definitely rain. Now it's definitely, definitely rain. It's only just starting. Ah, oh, king of bad timing. Right, in nine kilometers, I'm turning right. Maybe that will go across the rain and into the dry. PMA and all of that. So much for enjoying the last twisties in the dry, eh? Smells very thunderstormy though. Maybe it's not gonna last. What with thunderstorms being like emo teenagers, all dark and moody, but without enough motivation or energy to really keep up any sustained aggression. He wasn't wet. For all we know, he could have just pulled out of there, couldn't he? Look at that, the roads here are dry now, we've taken a slight right turn. Let's just hope that trend continues. No, uh, just looks like I'm heading straight towards the next bunch of rain. I think this is going to get a lot worse before it gets any better. Just have to go so fast the rain can't touch me. Now I know you want to make me wet, rain, but you can't touch this. Look at my eyes, rain! You can't touch this. I'm going the other way now. Maybe you really can't touch this. I feel it in my fingers, I feel it in my toes, rain is all around me, for f sake, it's everywhere I go. Bastards. But at least we have the town of Assinghausen to lift spirits ever so slightly. So it's dangerously like the town that I stayed in. It must be following a plan. Goodbye, Assinghausen. Thank you for your mildly immature titillation. That was a bit skippy, wasn't it? Well, that would have been a wonderful S-bend. 
as ever, spoiled by having to share the world with other humans. But who cares, luckily I've got loads of good roads to ride up where I come from. Oh no, that's right, the roads in Hamburg are absolute toilet. But I'm not gonna be negative, I'm not gonna be grumpy. I have had a fabulous time on this trip, even if I had to just jump on the motorway and go straight home now. I wouldn't have any right to be grumpy about what we've achieved on this little outing. I'm just gonna bust through it over there, I know it. Burst through into glorious sunshine just as the bendy roads run out and I have to go on the motorway. <laughs> with us again. It seems to only be raining over the bendy bits though. That's a bit of bendy bit of irony, isn't it? It feels like I haven't seen a space this open for forever. So I used to being in the trees or in the mountains or in the valleys. It's gonna be really weird when I get up to Hamburg. It's so flat you can pretty much see into the future. Looks kind of all right over there, doesn't it? The problem is, as you can see by all of these wind turbines, wind's going that way. Never seen them building a new one before. doesn't seem to be able to make up his mind. For a stretch there, I felt like it really caught up with me. And then it felt like I was out in the open again. Then I started to get cold, so I stopped, put a jumper on, and as I stopped, the sun came out. And now, oh, it's like the rain's closing in again. Although the roads are still dry. Oh, I give up. Let's just deal with what comes, shall we? But I do know that we're about to hit a really wriggly bit because I purposely planned this bit in. my arrival after everything I was saying yesterday about being respectful in town. What a hypocrite. Tunnels are different though, aren't they? Look at that, motorbikes only have to do 70 here. So racist. That was very good, despite never going above 70 kilometers an hour. It's proving to be quite a rewarding last day of this entire adventure. Oh, and look at that, what a great big surprise that is. Oh, roadblock on the road that I wanted to go on. For about the 18th time on this trip. So we'll have to go a different way. Wow, they've used a bit of UK resurfacing methods here. Throw down some glue, throw down some gravel, and let everybody kill themselves on it. Disappointed in you, Germany. There we go, there's that bit of... road blockage circumnavigated. Although it looks like the twisty bit was the bit that is blocked, as always. <laughs> Brilliant. I saw a great piece of advice that was bandying around on Twitter a while ago, which I think is absolutely inspired. She says, if you've got kids, get them to point out motorbikes on the road whenever you go anywhere in the car. And then that means when they're older, they'll always be aware of the bikes. 
genius. Mind you, I used to sh my pants and eat dirt when I was a kid, and I don't do that anymore. Sadly, the bendy bits are getting more and more spread out as we head further north away from the hills. Very soon, there will be absolutely no more. It will just be flat land, straight roads. And this, I do believe, is the River Visa, which means that we've crossed over from Zauerland, and now we're in the Visa Bergland. And we are in desperate need of a fuel stop. Hopefully some kind of baked goods and maybe something caffeinated, so hopefully this place can sort me out. Well, we're back on the road and the attentive among you will have noticed the river's on the other side now because I was just going that way to get the petrol station before it ran out. And then we're going up what could potentially be the last proper wriggly bit of road for today because the rain appears to really be picking up now. So much so I've even put on the waterproof jacket now because I was getting damp and cold. Neither of which are going to be fun when I get on the motorway in a minute. But here we go as we leave Breverda and take a left up the insanely twisty looking L428. Hopefully there's enough warmth in the tyres to make this as uneventful as possible. Oh, it's very damp up here. And then suddenly dry again, but it smells like a short-circuiting washing machine, so the storm is on the way in. Oh, it would have been great to have flown over this with the drone, wouldn't it? Shame some knob end crashed it into a tree. These Michelin Road 5 tyres are quite simply awesome. Freshly sprinkled roads and I'm still able to throw the bike into these bends with such confidence. I can feel that the grip is slightly reduced but definitely not to any kind of worry inducing levels. Normally when it's a bit damp that's when cars start to get away from you, isn't it? But not anymore. The game has changed. As we cross over the River Visa, I think that pretty much marks the end of our twisties for today. All but this tiny little extra bit coming up. So here they are, and I know this is for absolute certainty. These are the last twisties worth writing home about on this trip. Before I have to sadly earplug up, jump on the motorway and just blast the last two hours to my humble abode. So thank you so very much for watching this entire tour. Thanks so much to Smokey Bar for putting up with me for a week. Big thanks to all the Patreon supporters. And most of all, thanks to all of you for watching. I hope you've really enjoyed this series as much as I've enjoyed riding it and then putting it together afterwards. That's the twisties all finished. It's just boring, fieldy, straight, flatty stuff from here on out. Again, thank you so much for watching. I've been Andy Mancam. The other guy was Smokey Bar. Please do check out his channel and watch his videos of this tour as well. It's gonna be really cool to see another perspective of this same trip. Other than that, keep your shiny and I'll see you out there. Ta-ra.